we know this is a president who prides himself on the art of the deal, and now it looks like he's got one. Let's bring in Fox News contributor Richard Fowler, and we hope Brad Blakeman will be joining us uh, shortly as well. But Richard, let's get started with you. Welcome to Fox News tonight. Good to see you, Shannon. Okay, so I want to read something uh, that comes from Senator Marco Rubio. He says, I generally don't support imposing tariffs. He's been against them in many cases. But he says, Mexico's lack of commitment when it comes to addressing the unsustainable and dangerous migratory crisis at our southern border has left this administration no other choice. Um, Richard, tonight the president has played tough. This was a game of chicken, and it sounds like they've reached a deal. Yeah, and listen, you got to give the president credit for getting this deal with Mexico, but I think there's something to be said to what Kristen said in her reporting around what Beto O'Rourke said, is that he sort of called this a crisis, and in doing so, he forced folks to rush to the southern border, and then he sort of tried to say, now I've solved this crisis. Now, well, the devil will be in the details. The devil will be in the enforcement of said deal to see if Mexico really does send the 6,000 National Guard to the 150-mile border, the, mm -hmm. their southern border. And once again, we're still not dealing with the real problem, which is in that northern triangle, those three countries. The violence is extreme, which is why people are picking up everything they have. Family units are picking up everything they have, and they are rushing to the United States to seek our democracy, to seek our freedom. And it also doesn't deal with the fact that there is still an extremely long backlog of folks who are seeking asylum that are that, that currently that currently are waiting in this line and that are currently in detention. That, that, and we've, we, there was a report that came out this week that talked about how inspectors went to these detention centers and the, the, the conditions are absolutely deplorable. Yeah, but I mean, we're in a situation now, Richard, where we know that more people than we can handle are coming to the border. They're coming illegally. And it's a situation where um, if you release people, what is it? 87 percent, the report was this week, that that have asylum cases, Brad Blakeman with us now, they don't come back and show up for their court hearings. So how is this to be handled in a better way? Well, listen, I think that's something that we really do have to deal with, Sharon. I'm not going to sit here and say that we don't well, have to let deal me, with that. Let me bring Brad in, because I think we have Brad with us now. Mm -hmm. I think the president uh, had a huge victory today. Um, you know, good neighbors are ones that uh, follow rules and regulations and, and prevent harm. Uh, the president's number one responsibility as president is to prevent harm, not really respond to it. And but for the president's action on threatening tariffs, uh, Mexico would have continued to be complicit in the invasion that we're seeing on our southern border. Okay, I want to read something because we're getting a lot of reaction from Capitol Hill. We've talked about some of that. Um, Chuck Schumer, who is obviously the top Democrat in the Senate, the minority leader there, tweets this. This is an historic night. At Real Donald Trump has announced that he's cut a deal to greatly reduce or eliminate illegal immigration coming from Mexico and into the United States. He follows this up by saying, now that that problem is solved, I'm sure we won't be hearing any more about it in the future. Well, the top Republican, who's actually the majority leader in the Senate, Mitch McConnell, uh, follows up on that. And he says, um, now the onus is squarely on my Democratic colleagues in Congress. They've dragged their heels and preferred to pick political fights with the president rather than get something done. Richard, to you first. Listen, here's what we can do. What Democrats are willing to do today is they're willing to work with Republicans to get more immigration judges. We're willing to work with Republicans on hardening points of entry. We're willing to work with Republicans on finding a way to speed up and modernize our visa system, right? And remember the fact that 90% of the folks coming to our country illegally are because of visa overstays not pouring across mm -hmm. our southern border. And these are all That's things we're willing to work with Republicans on. The question is, are Republicans willing to come to the table and work with us on these things? All right. And Brad, um, as we touched on earlier, this is a lot of this is contingent on whether Mexico follows through sending out their National Guard um, and whether or not they're going to take people. Apparently, part of this deal is going to be that those who are seeking asylum won't stay in the U.S. They'll stay in Mexico. Uh, and that's part of the deal. So uh, there are a lot of uh, things on both sides of the border that have to happen for this to work. And if not, there's still this caveat that those tariffs could kick in. What do you see happening? What I see happening, I think Mexico got a huge wake up call that this president means business. And uh, I have some suggestion for my friend Richard and his Democratic colleagues, and that is there's something you can do, and that is get Nancy Pelosi to take up uh, on the House floor the USMCA uh, agreement. President Trump has, has brought that agreement to Congress. Congress has done nothing, and maybe uh, Maybe it's time for Trump to put some tariffs on Congress. Maybe that's what it takes to get them to act. Hold, well, listen, Brad, hold I, their pay. Brad, Brad I'm glad well, you brought it. Well, it seems like I, I, been I, a lot of, there's been a lot of bipartisan support for trying to get some of these bigger deals done with Mexico and Canada, knowing that they are our biggest trading partners and our, our neighbors. So uh, as this plays out, it looks like um, at least the Mexican uh, officials seem to be commenting that this will actually move them closer to getting something done. Now it's up to U.S. lawmakers, so we will see. In the meantime, Richard and Brad, thanks for weighing in as this is a breaking story. Pleasure. Great to have you both. Good to see you, Shannon.